Parker and Vodorsky. And again, if they don't get the first ground ball, George, they get the second. <laughs> These guys scooping no question. them up. <laughs> Trying to clear it out is Ryan Wilson. Good hustle. Yep. They'll play next week. And again, it speaks to the growth of the sport that a junior college in West Virginia, not known for lacrosse. Yeah. And they were starting to build a sport there. I mean, once once you see it and you start playing it, how can you not fall in love with it? Oh, that's day one. That's what Beatty told us years and years ago. <laughs> the timeout we'll see what Sussex comes up with this is Bruno sends it back to X to Parker trying to feed it out top yeah. to Waldron that was a little bit of that was a force right there good job winning the ground ball by Ryan Wilson who's checked in number five X sends Waldron sends it in getting a piece yeah, of that again that. to coach's point those long balls but obviously probably the favorites they haven't played junior yet they're six and one overall, Union one and two. Mercer two and two. Brookdale has not yet played a game as has Ocean. And Sussex one and two. Battle for the ground ball and coming out with it. Bruno with the dodge. Doubled up. Seems like the Catamounts were. But that was neat. That was on the CBS Sports Network. Got to watch that last Sunday night. Oh, okay. I think a big part of the growth of lacrosse in the western part of the 